everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Rachel Ray and today I'd like to unbox another Diamond Art Club kit. I'm so excited. You have no idea. So let's just get into it, shall we? I hope you're having a wonderful Monday. My day is actually going pretty well so far. I can't complain except for the weather. <laughs> the weather has been very blah and rainy and they say like the local fishermen say that this summer is supposed to be like the best summer that we've had in years kind of thing um and i really hope that it's true are you ready you ready to see her <gasps> oh y'all <laughs> so this this is moon elf moon elf by rika sophia reckonin now, you might recognize this because um, I had this diamond paint, well, this image in a diamond painting on my channel. I've since taken it down um, because out of respect for the artist, obviously, but also because, I don't know if you know this, but I asked Diamond Art Club to find this person and this artist and, and put them into their website to, to make me this diamond painting. <laughs> And I don't think that I'm better than everybody else or anything like that. It's just that, you know, I I purchased a knockoff without knowing that it was a knockoff from um, a store in AliExpress. And I, that's why I really don't recommend buying from AliExpress is because it's like most of it, you don't even know. It could be It could be free art. It could be from an artist and you just have no idea. So it's safer to buy from companies who license images directly from the artist, right? And there are a few of those companies, um, but obviously Diamond Art Club is one of them. And thank you so much, Diamond Art Club, because this is a beautiful, beautiful picture. And I love it so much. And I can't wait to do it because I know it's going to look better <laughs> and I won't have problems with popping drills like I did from that company. So if you remember what I'm talking about and if you remember where I purchased it from, then you will know what I'm talking about. But if you don't know what I'm talking about, then don't worry about it because I just don't want to bring them any more traffic than they already get. So I feel like I'm going to sneeze. I've got the sticker sheet here this is for the your journal or the side of your box like i do i'm gonna do that right now actually just so i could show you and y'all i'm gonna i'm gonna go ahead and link a video for you uh in the eye and in the description for how i store my extra diamonds because i get a lot of questions about that i no longer use baseball sleeves i use um a filing system that i saw for kids at 417 do on her channel so i don't take credit for the idea it's just that's what i do now um also with the kit we've got the toolkit so this comes with the pen baggies it's got a clear tray for pouring the diamonds into two plates of wax a squishy and a four placer and that's all you really need really uh this is in the dust sleeve. Oh my goodness. Come on. Whoop. Just like that. Put things to the side. And let's see what she looks like. Oh, hold on one second. Sorry, my husband chose that exact moment. <laughs> of course. Here we go. <gasps> Look at her. Oh my goodness. Oh. This looks a lot better, y'all. It's a, it's gonna be a lot easier to complete, that's for sure. It has 43 colors, and it says that it is 46 by 69 centimeters. So it's actually bigger. <laughs> oh, that's beautiful. It's so pretty. You know what I'm gonna do? Let's see, what else did we get? So in there, we got the instruction booklet, which when you look in here, there is a coupon, just so you know. And then we've got this really nice inventory sheet that's also a sticker sheet. And they're now cut so that it's easy to put these onto your containers if you want to. I know some people just use the numbers like 1 to 50, and then they reference the side of the canvas, whatever is easiest for you. 
For me, it's easier to have the symbol on the container. But look at that. Isn't she beautiful? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I love, I love this artwork. So Rika, you're an amazing artist. I'm so sorry that I didn't know. And obviously I want everybody to know that you can get her art through Diamond Art Club now. And that makes me super excited because DAC. Hello. So let's see. We've got two Aurora Borealis drills, which are special diamonds. They have an iridescent coating. They kind of shimmer and sparkle a little bit more. So those are going to be placed on these highlighted areas where we want the eye to go. And the rest are all DMC. And you know that because DMC number, the, the true DMC codes start at 150 and then they go to 38 something something uh but anything under that on diamond art clubs kits are going to be the special drills righto so we've got that got the drills of course look at this so what we've got here we've got mostly color blocking which is areas of a, a large area of just one color. So it means that, you know, you open a section and you're working on that color. So for example, up here, you've got a lot of black, I believe. Yeah, 310. So up here where this area is right here, it's actually black, so it's easy to tell. Um, that is gonna be easy to breeze through because you don't have to keep changing colors. When you have to change colors a lot, we call that confetti. So for example, that might be like right in here. If you had just that part to do, then <laughs> you might be changing colors every few seconds, which slows you down, it does. But the effect is gorgeous, isn't it? Isn't it? I love the, the jewelry here on her ear. And I know that some of you who watch my videos regularly and you were here last year, you would remember this picture. The other image that I got was computer generated and not hand charted like this one is and hand charting allows us to get the best picture quality i know that sometimes computer generated is like it gives you uh more colors sometimes but with the hand charting they can actually like outline the areas and make them look i don't know to me, to me, they look awesome. I know that that is up to the person, but as far as I'm concerned, I, I prefer my diamond paintings this way. Right, I'm going to get off that topic because I know that it's a, it's a topic of debate amongst people in the diamond painting community, but I don't mean anything bad by it. I just mean, I'm not saying that you're wrong if you like computer generated. I'm just saying that the time and attention to detail when charting these diamond paintings, you can tell that a lot of love goes into it. Right, I'm gonna start opening the drills and showing you the colors. So if you're not interested, I'll put the timestamp just here so you can skip ahead to see where those ABs go. Oh, look at those. Look at those pretty colors. Oh my goodness. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and bring you in. Let's get started. So we've got 210, gorgeous lavender, 939, 310. So we have roughly well, we actually have less 310s than 939s. I can tell by the by how full the bags are packed. 797. 208. 820. We have two bags of 820, this dark blue. 823. Same here. Two big bags. 796. 209. Ooh, two bags. <gasps> so if you love purple and blue, obviously you're going to love this painting. 211. 519. 
996, 798, 3837. So beautiful. I love this color. 3808. This is kind of like a, a gorgeous blue green, very dark shade. And 3325. Oh, I see ABs. We've got 333, 3810. That's beautiful. I like that color. 141. This is the one of the ABs. So this is the white AB. Can you see how it glistens and gleams? It's got that, um, what I lovingly refer to as unicorn skin. Isn't that so pretty? I love it. 334, 3841, 917. This is another one of my favorite colors, and it never comes out quite right on camera. This is a very hot pink, so I would highly recommend looking it up. DMC 917. It's beautiful. 3755, 3860, and 3607. These two are just a, one shade off. And then a few more here. We've got 603. 963, 701, 3064, 739, 602, and 915. Beautiful. And then we've got some here too. Ooh, 124. This is another AB drill. Let me see if I can get it up there so that you can see. Here, up at the back. <gasps> Pretty soft pink with that sparkle. You can really see it on this one. Isn't that gorgeous? Then we've got 3608 and 703. And then all by its lonesome, <laughs> 3809. So those are the diamonds for this painting. So we've got a white and pink AB drill. So let's see if we can find where they go. We've got, oh, there we go. <laughs> So we're looking for the numbers one and two on the canvas. So number one is the pink, number two is the white. I can definitely tell already that the twos, the white ones, are in her, is that an amulet, a tiara? Right, so this is actually called a forehead chain or a head chain, um, but in other cultures they can be known as other things. I actually had to go and do research on that. Um, but so it's up there in the chain and then it comes down in her hair and it highlights some of these flowers here and those three pieces here that look kind of like, um, I don't know, almost like leaves or jewelry of some sort. Then we've got some uh, reflecting off of her skin in these highlights here, as well as around these butterflies and her hand, the top of her bodice, etc. Then the number one is the pink, and I can see a number one in the center of this flower. They're going to be very small, so uh, here in this butterfly and that butterfly, and I see a little bit of ones scattered here and here as well in these little flowers here at the bottom. So there aren't a lot of the number one, but they are really beautiful. And as you can see, this is um, typical quality from Diamond Art Club. So you've got a poured glue canvas with a very soft back, uh, with a fl and it's got flocking on it, or uh, what do they call that as well? Scalloped edges. <laughs> this is a velvet canvas. And I know that like if you've never tried Diamond Art Club before, you're kind of going, Vel why would I want a velvet canvas? Well, it makes it more malleable. So you can, you know, roll it up. When you take it out of the roll, you can see it's already flat. So, and it's only been, what, 15, not even 15 minutes, because uh, I was waffling there at the beginning. 
but I do really enjoy Diamond Art Club's products, and it's not just because I'm an affiliate for their company. Um, what that means is that the links that you have down below, if you choose to purchase from them using the link and you're a first time customer, I will earn a small commission. It doesn't cost you any extra money or anything like that, but I decided to affiliate with that company because I really do enjoy their products, and I love the fact that they license artists, and they have quite frankly, the best quality of the business, in my humble opinion. I guess I'm allowed to say that. I'm a little bit biased, but I think that there are some people out there that agree with me too. But anyway, I wanted to show you this painting because I was so in love with it, and I'm really, really happy that it's now with Diamond Art Club. So if you weren't able to purchase this over the release weekend, don't worry, it is coming back. Make sure that you sign up for email alerts on their website. Just scroll down to the right-hand side of the website, and it says to enter your email address to be alerted when it does come back in stock. You could also put it in your wish list, but they will not notify you when it's back in stock. You would have to check that manually. So what do you think? Did you purchase it? Will you purchase it? Might not be your cup of tea. Was there something else that you really liked from them? Is there something that you'd like to see that isn't this style? I'd love to know. But these, these kinds of paintings are definitely my style. Uh, Rika's work, Chris Ortega's work. Um, wow, there's just, there's so many beautiful cartoon artists that I love with that kind of um, femme fatale, <laughs> beautiful pictures that I, I seriously enjoy working on. And even though I'm the kind of diamond painter that just puts my diamond paintings into a portfolio once I'm done, for the most part, I still enjoy the process and I love every minute of my diamond painting. So if you have any questions or anything like that, please leave them down in the comment section below. Luna says hi and we're about to go to W-A-L-K-I-E-S. <laughs> so I better wrap this up. I hope you have a wonderful day, a wonderful week. Take care and I'll see you soon in the next video. Thanks guys. Bye.